Welcome to Zurich, Switzerland for an overdose of Christmas markets and beautiful sceneries. But first, let's start with the train ride. It's this one. just made it to the Kishberg train station because today we are making one of Tracy's dream come true wishes. <laughs> the home of chocolate. As soon as we came out of the train, the sign was there. And just like that, we are already in love with Switzerland. I mean, how beautiful is this? Like all the little houses on the hill on the other side of the river. Like, are you serious? Is this place even real, Tracy? <laughs> Almost forgot you guys. So I know this seems like a really weird thing to have on your bucket list, but when we were coming to Switzerland, coming to the Lynn Home of Chocolate was a must do for me. So I am so excited. Um, it's a real life chocolate factory, and I heard they have the biggest chocolate store in the entire world here. So let's go. Guys, that is a real chocolate coming out of that. It smells like chocolate in here already. <sighs> I'm so happy. So they got this figured out to make sure people don't take too much chocolate. Apparently you can get like a lot of chocolate, like as much as you can during the tour, but you cannot bring your jacket or a backpack. So, you know, just to make sure people are just not loading up on chocolate, because Tracy would do it. She would. The time has come. It's time for our first tasting. It's warm, melty goodness. Mm. That's so good. So chocolate is over 5,000 years ago and back in the days it was actually used for medicinal purposes. But chocolate as we know it, we owe it to Lindt and Nestle who basically the two men in the late 1800s uh, discovered or invented milk chocolate, which is the best kind of chocolate. Except here, dark chocolate is better. There's still a lot of milk in it. It's just a chocolate machine. <laughs> Unlimited chocolate. They said we can take one of each color. So that behind was like the museum side, but now we're actually going to take a walk in front of the actual factory where there's real chocolate makers making, you guessed it, chocolate. Pockets are loaded with chocolate after they all. Said, they said you wouldn't get that much chocolate. We got yeah, quite so a bit. much chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the largest Lynn chocolate store in the world. I'm never gonna get Tracy out of this. Before leaving, we have to try Lint Hot Chocolate here at the Lint Cafe. Inside the cafe, they have two chocolate fountains there that are just like, they're just going all the time. Thank you very much. We even get a chocolate square on top of it. Could be the better, best one I've ever had yet. So we got half a hot chocolate just to try it. And they literally take the milk and mix it with like the liquid Literally, chocolate. in the fountain. I find it underwhelming. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah, it's good. Don't get me wrong. 
but I was expecting like a sickening sweet, which I'm glad it's not. Yeah, it's it's more on the lighter side. Like they could have put like more chocolate, but I like it like that because otherwise, like I wouldn't be able to drink it. I'd be like, yeah. That bite, that bite, that sip was a little better because I had more whipped cream and like the chocolate, but. This bite yeah. was really good because I had all the whipped cream. <laughs> look, look, you can even see all of like the chocolate particles in it. It's a good stuff. Look at it on the bottom. Was it everything you expected and more? Yeah, actually. <laughs> it was a little bit more because we got way more chocolate than I thought. That's fair. And we did learn about the process of making chocolate. Yes, it's not yes. just about the final product. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a very nice visit. How much was it? Uh, so for two tickets on Expedia, I think I paid like 48 or $45 Canadian. Okay. Um, so it's not that expensive, especially you come away with 10 chocolates each. And with learning. <laughs> Lind in Canada is really expensive. That's true. That's so, very true. So, I don't know. Worth I it. think it's worth it. would say it's worth it. So the best way to go around Europe and Switzerland, of course, is by train. Especially like, the cheapest. Yeah, the train system is amazing, yeah. super efficient, like trains every few minutes. Mm -hmm. But like this train is like the most, the smoothest train I've ever been on in my entire life. Right now the camera stands on its own on the Cedar Crest and it's not even shaking. Like I feel like it's riding on a cloud. Yeah, it feels like it's like suspended. So nice. So, I like trains. So we just made it to the Zurich HB train station, like the main train station here in the city. And apparently there is a beautiful, massive Christmas market in here. Yeah. We just need to find it. This place is massive. It's like a mini mall inside the station. Not even mini, it's a mall. It's, it's a mall. <laughs> excuse me, sir. We're looking for the Christmas market. Sir, excuse me, Christmas market. We found it. <laughs> this is the largest indoor Christmas yeah. market in all of Europe. Yes. So the tree behind us is pretty magnificent and it's, it's all made out of the Lind chocolate. Just like it's more just, that's Lind the chocolate. Ornaments. And they're giving away free chocolate downstairs and I might have to go find them because they're the free teddy bears. Yeah, because you didn't get enough free Lind chocolate. Not. So to start our Christmas market experience, of course we have to start with Glühwein, which is basically like warm wine with spices like cinnamon, clove and other things like that. I've never had it, I don't think, so let's go try it out. So I'm going to get first taste. It feels so good on my hands. Hands are a little cold right now. Okay, it's good. I'm going to take a little bit of like to get used to because to me like hot wine is just very not what I'm used to, but it is really good. I was scared it's gonna be too spicy, but it's not. It feels weird, I know. Oh, it's so hot. It feels weird to like inhale the steam. I like it way more than what I expected. Same. Still not like, oh my goodness, it's the best thing ever. Because we're such wine people that like putting spices in wine, I'm like, don't do that. I like, I have to, I like it. I'm I know. surprised. Yeah. I do have to say like at this point, I like it enough in the sense of like it's one glass to share. At every market and we're going to the mini markets. Yeah. This vlog's about to get real funny. <laughs> <It's> so exciting. <laughs> First rack butt that we've had in Switzerland. Oh, yeah. Come on up. Thank you. Bite number one. Everything you expected and more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So raclette is basically like the process of like scraping very warm melting cheese uh, on either like potatoes, pieces of bread or something like that. Is and that it is so good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. As a Canadian, I always find it so weird to have to pay to go to the bathroom in Europe. Up next, something super Christmassy. Actually not, but everyone has them and they look so good. There's actually dumplings here. They look fantastic. As we went down to get the sauce, you can actually see them making them right there. So I have high expectation. Genuinely, sorry, I've stuffed stuff my teeth. Genuinely, the best dumplings I've ever had. What's in them? These ones are the meat ones. That's a good dumpling. Is that not the best? Like mm -hmm. it's the best I've ever had. Amazing. 
Anyone who tells you that dumplings aren't Christmassy, don't listen to them, because those are the best dumplings <laughs> we've ever had. <laughs> Get one for me? No, you go get one. Thank you. <laughs> so I had to get something sweet to balance out the savory. So we stopped at an Italian pastry shop here. This is an orange something. It looks really good. You may not like it because it's fruit, but it looks good. Like it's amazing. I just don't really like orange stuff. But like it's really, really good though. But this though, pistachio, true Italian cannoli, that is amazing. As good as the one we had in Italy. Mm. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> so Christmas market number one done. Such a good start. I already feel the Christmas spirit taking over. I'm so excited. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Up next, uh, apparently there's a singing Christmas tree. Very close. So we're gonna walk there, I guess. I have to say, Zurich is quickly becoming one of my favorite cities in Europe. It is just beautiful. Of course, right now it's filled with Christmas decoration, Christmas spirit, but overall, just such a beautiful place. Plus, I love trains and there's trains everywhere, so. So the second thing that you have to do here in Switzerland, in Zurich specifically, is go to see the singing Christmas tree. It's what it sounds like. They have people up on the tree and it's just singing Christmas carols. Well, this is a very unique concept to say the least. I kind of like it. Most of the songs are actually like in German, so I don't really know them, but I'm sure they sing some more like uh, like the English ones that we know. Okay, so basically at some of the markets when you get Glühwein, you can actually buy a cup instead of just the uh, paper cup that you get. So we're at the Christmas singing tree. So I feel like this one kind of has like the best memory attached to it. So we're gonna get this cup this time. Like the mug is so cute. So, so time to try the glue vine hide your here. Face, hide your face so it will focus. Oh, sorry. So of course, like I said, had to get the singing one. And they, they said we have to say this is the best glue vine. But because we don't lie, we need to taste it. Ooh. It smells. I like this. So I like this one better. So I will say this is the best glue vine, but I only had two so far. So it doesn't it mean much. It smells spicier. It's really nice. Yes. This is more what I expected glue vine to taste like. The other one was good, but very light. And this one has a bit more flavor to it. And less sweet. More yes. tangy like wine more is supposed to be. More like just taste. The girls were right. It's the best. We're going to have to tell them when we leave. Yeah. It was the best. Glühwein? Yes, the best. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, my compliment to the chef. Oh, I will, I will. Enjoy your time. So, of course, like, massive, like, sausages like that are, like, one of their specialties. Basically, like, a lot of influence of, like, other countries because Switzerland is surrounded by Italy, cannolis, Germany, sausage, and France, all the cheese. Pastries? Oh, yeah, cheese. Sorry, I <laughs> You can get it with different mustard, like honey mustard, something else, and maybe regular mustard and spicy mustard. Spicy mustard is the way to go. To the next bar. I am just in awe, like everywhere, just walking around uh, Zurich. It's just such a beautiful town, like the building, the architecture, and of course the Christmas decoration everywhere. Like this is like a true Christmas town. It is stunning. Next up is a chimney cake. We went for a classic, but, oh crap. I know, <laughs> but with Nutella inside. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. 
super crunchy on the outside and still super doughy in the inside. It's like mm -hmm. the best combination. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, if you want a good chimney cake, it's here at Traffy in that Old Town. Really it's a solid 10 out of 10. I've never had another chimney cake, so I have nothing to compare, but it's good. As we walk around town, here are a few fun facts about Zurich. Sorry, First of all, this place is super cute. It's just like a, a put up like uh, yeah. she, she chalet, ski <laughs> chalet. Ski <laughs> chalet. Say, say it, say it quick four times. I ski swear chalet, we ski not chalet. That much blue vine, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a fondue place. Anyways, keep going. Back to my fun facts. One, first of all, most people think that Zurich is the capital of Switzerland. Guess what? It is not. Bern is the actual capital of the country. Second, Albert Einstein actually lived most of his life here. Um, he became a professor, but also studied most of his life in town. And lastly, according to a happiness study, which I'm not sure how you make a <laughs> happiness study, but Switzerland is actually the happiest country in the world. I definitely do feel happy while I'm here. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Except there's no snow. So I don't know what to do. We can hope for it. <laughs> So now we just made it to the largest Christmas market here in Zurich. It looks super nice and I'm very excited to like see it at night. So we just gotta wait another hour or so and then it should be like more magical. This market is overwhelming. There's so much going on here. And it doesn't help that there's actually a lot of people because it's Sunday. But I love it. Smooth operator. Music's good too. We got some fries with ketchup mayo. Everyone's getting them there, so I feel like it's a good spot. Dare like I fries. say it? best fries I've ever had. <laughs> Strong statement. You'll understand. Okay, ready? I'm gonna get you the perfect one. I mean... They're perfect. It's a solid fry. So fun facts, most people in North America call those French fry, but there's actually a big dispute between Belgium and France to know who invented the fries. I think they're French fries. And I think they're hot. <laughs> burned my mouth about three times on that same bite. And also, most of us are used to eat french fry with ketchup, but in most of Europe, they actually uh, eat them with mayonnaise. And if you ask me, it's so much better with mayonnaise. That's what I'm personally used to, probably because I'm from the French part of, um, of Canada. But uh, yeah, mayonnaise is the way to go with french fries or Belgian fries, whatever. So this is called roshi. It's basically like a hash brown potato with raclette cheese and pickles. Like it sounds weird maybe, but it's actually really really nice. I mean, come on, cheese and potatoes. To avoid large amount of waste, basically like you pay five dollars to get a plate and a fork and when you're done you bring it back to a depot and they give it back. But I dropped it and broke it. We'll see if they give us our money back anyway. Say sorry. <laughs> but the fork. Yeah. <laughs> market Behind number three. Yeah, I was gonna say market number three. Let's taste it though. Least favorite. Oh, disappointment. Like no spices. Watery. I'm sad. Oh, that's my favorite. No, no, it's not. I was gonna say. <laughs> Man. The vanilla Bailey's, it sounded really good. <laughs> Is there nothing inside of it? 
Tracy was in church, something was inside, but she just didn't take a big enough bite. Okay, let's try this again. Mm. Much better now. I really like that. <laughs> here at a casa suites and while we on thaw <laughs> i'm gonna show you around um when i was looking at this place too also the location is absolutely amazing you're 400 meters from the train station and it's here in zurich so perfect uh, we have a king size bed here something that switzerland does is they actually have i know like sweden and i think norway does it too they have two duvets so you get your own duvet each like a your own blanket basically. I actually really liked it last night. <laughs> and then we did get upgraded to a balcony. So there's a massive balcony outside. Come out this side. We have a little working area, desk, huge fridge, I have to say. Never seen one that big in a hotel room. And we have a coffee maker, an espresso machine. Amazing. Luggage department there. Bathroom, shower, everything you need but I'm going to turn the water on real hot so I can get warm. <laughs> real quick snapshot of our day. Um, <laughs> obviously the Lind factory goes without saying. I loved that. She really did. <laughs> We're gonna rank the three markets that we did. Um, so I think the best food was actually at the first one at the train station. Mm -hmm. Best glue vine was the same tree. Yes, so, and so good. Yeah, the last one, Yes, it has the most Christmassy feel and vibe, but because it's the most popular, because it's the largest, it's really crowded. Yeah, the yeah. last one technically is the best one, like the most beautiful, the most option, the most everything. Yeah. But like she said, like it was very, very busy, but I feel like if you go like earlier in December, in yes. the middle of the, the week, it's probably much better. Yeah. Right now we are very close to Christmas on a Sunday. And that's kind of so... what I expected. If you watched our France series last year, mm. we went to one in Paris and that was Insane. Super crowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but overall, basically because of that, I prefer the first market we went yeah. to. Yeah, the train station one, the yeah. largest indoor one. Yeah. It was and really nice. So we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow we go on another adventure, but that's gonna be in the next video. So make <laughs> sure to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one. And if you want to see what our travel day to Switzerland looked like, then check out our channel memberships. We have exclusive content and extra things there, all the tidbits. Check it out. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh.